Michael Maggie here with Jiggy Jack TV, and I'm here with the band Life of Agony. Yeah, what's up, Mike? Good. How you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. So if anyone doesn't know about the band, you want to give us a little history? Sure. We've been around, uh, the band's been around about 28 years now, I would say. Wow. And um, we, we, we started in Brooklyn, New York, and slowly took over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Uh, and, well, kind of. But no, it's been a great, you know, great run, great, uh, fun career. You know, we made a career out of it since we were kids. You gotta imagine we were te teenagers, excuse me. We went to school together. Wow. So we, we went to high school met, together. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and uh, Mina, the singer of the band, is actually my cousin. So it all started in a very small, knitted, um, you know, tight little group of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, just, we just, again, just built it and built it until here we are now, you know, touring the world, touring with our favorite bands, having a great time. It's incredible. It's great. It's really great. How did you guys uh, stand the test of time? Because I know there was a couple um, times we went on hiatus and broke yeah. up, and now you're back together. So how are we sitting here right now? <laughs> it's just the love of the music and having fun with each other. And you know, I think we we put out our first record in 1993, and it really connected with people on an emotional level. And I think that because of that record, like paving the way for the rest of the music. Um, really made an impact on people mm -hmm. to the point where not only are they still coming to shows decades later but now they're bringing their kids they're bringing their younger brothers and sisters and there's a, a new wave of new fans um, that are digging into the old catalog so I think that you know it's just generations of people connecting with this music because you know, we talk it's about, real. You know, it's we real. talk about you know real life issues that everyone goes through. Not only did we go through them back in the day, but these are uh, songs that were really um, an, an expression of you know everything that we had gone through and what people go through every day. Mm -hmm. It's just something that's kind of timeless. And you could connect with that and he adhere to that, you know. Yeah. People, that's what people are really looking for something they can feel, connect with. And, well, I think you know, especially when you're dealing with depression and uh, and feeling isolated and alienated. The whole point is that through the music, you're not alone, mm -hmm. and um, and that's what people really walk away with. That and feeling of wow, I'm part of a community of people, like-minded people. Yeah, and I think our music creates that platform for people to all meet on. You know, that, that place where they all meet and say, "Oh wow, you're just like me." You know, you have the same struggles as I do. Right. And that's what I think that 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 common bond we all share. That, and I think people in general share that. Some some are more open about it than others, but we find that life of agony. Anyone that's into LOA. Um, generally uh, are open enough to say hey you know I share the same struggles as you I have the same fears I have the same you know problems keep, keep or issues real, right? right keeping it real and that's like the LOA community you know that's our LOA familia we call it and it's been great and killer yeah. definitely I know your last album was one of the most anticipated albums of the year they said so yeah. definitely a lot of support and I'll tell you what, it, you know, last album was really good. Um, we're very excited about this next record we're writing. We're actually going into the studio in February to begin recording it. And we can be more excited about new music. It's this, this is, this next record is really going to define Life of Agony in the next century. You know, what, what it means to be Life of Agony, I should say in the next decade, you know, um, it's really gonna set a new standard even for the band. Hmm. Yeah. What kind of direction are you taking on that towards your style of your, you know, older stuff? And you know, we really never discuss a direction, would you say, Al? We always just write what's coming out at the moment, and what's coming out right now is the best Life of Agony music that's been around for a long time. Yeah, and also the way that we're going about writing is kind of really getting back to the fun of writing. Um, Instead of, I mean, you know, the last record basically there was a 12 year gap between yeah. albums, and um, you know, we kind of got jaded from the music industry for everything that we there went was one through. One point, we didn't think you were coming back, so. yeah, yeah, and now we're inspired again, and, 
and um, having fun writing and it's kind of like the old days you know? yeah sharing ideas again and listening to each other and mm -hmm. checking out something someone has or an idea for a song that someone else has and it's just really open and fun and, and, and exactly what Alan said it's fun again and, and making music uh, which should be fun because yeah. if it's not there's, there's, there's an issue yeah. there's a problem mm -hmm. and uh, it's just so far it's been super it's been and, and you can hear that in the music and that's what I think a lot of people are missing in their music is that organic fun aspect you know you hear that in people's music you hear that in the writing yeah sometimes you have to take a step away for a little bit to you know, reboot and yeah absolutely so like we've been on tour all year with this Rise of the Underground tour and just so much energy and so much positivity all over the world. Um, I think we take that into the writing mm -hmm. and, and that's top, 100%. Of me, top of mind, like writing for like the live concert. 100%. Know? So is this a current tour now or just a couple shows? This is the last uh, show of the year for us mm -hmm. and then we go right into the new record. Yeah, we just got back from Europe on, oh, wow. on the Rise of the Underground tour. Cool. Um, uh, this, these two particular shows with Sick of It All we're doing here um, weren't part of that particular tour, although we did mention the dates at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, either way, um, it's great. We have Billy Biohazard. Billy Bio yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is on the show tonight, which he was on the tour with us in Europe which uh, we've got some cool things happening. But either way, um, yeah, it's been a great year and we're taking all that energy, like Alan said, and bringing it into the new year. It's really, it's really awesome. Awesome. And then I guess next year you'll be touring again? Oh, definitely. We're not stopping. Yeah. This is just the beginning. We feel like this is just the beginning of the band again. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> And live, you play some of the older stuff still? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've, been, we've been mixing it up. We've been bringing songs out that we've never played live before. Wow. Again, that, everybody? <laughs> yeah, That's again. Exciting, though, Last you know? night, we played a song Jeez. so old that it didn't even make it on the first album. Oh, wow. Yeah. We played a demo song, basically. <laughs> yeah on stage last night and it was so much fun and we're going to do it again tonight see that's awesome man. yeah, yeah. That's something for the fans like Very said, connect with, like. exactly and that's something that i think you can't forget and i think it's easy to forget where you come from well, something that's just playing like hit singles and that's it so it's cool to switch in some things here and there like say saying little surprises exactly that's cool not do the sterile thing do the same thing all the time you know, it's we're finally, you know, we're busting stuff out that we've never played before and mixing it up. And from week to week, sometimes we'll say, "Hey, well, why don't we do this song and yeah, off that record, or why don't we try this?" And we'll get it together, and then you know, and then we'll just hit it live and see how it goes. And it's just keeping it fun, man. Yeah, keeping it real, fun. keeping it uh, fresh. Is and a good word. And also these days, like yeah, it's like with it's social media, and we have a lot of fans online that. You know, oh, I wish they played this song. I wish they, we listened to that stuff. You know. And, yeah. And um, you know, I think someone one time a while back made a list, and people voted on their favorite songs on which albums. And we looked at that list, and we're like, yeah. Wow, that's surprising that that song is at the top. Something that we didn't think of. That we put in the set. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Just listening more, keeping an eye on like what the fans want to hear and what the fans want to see. You know, it's pretty cool. It's been a, it's, this year has been a lot of fun. Especially, it's incredible being along for as long as you have. You're still selling out your shows and yeah. stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. and the fans are crazier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> we just got off a tour in Europe and it was just magical. Yeah. It's the only word I, that comes out of my mouth. It was one of the most fun tours in the whole career. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah I think it was probably you have top. memorable stories on the show? Uh, yeah, every, every night I think there was memorable moments on stage. And, yeah. Crazy. It's just, uh, there he is, as we say, memorable ah. moments on stage. Uh, Billy from Biohazard, uh, Billy Bio, I should say, just walked in. Um, yeah, the European tour had so many great moments. It was my favorite band of Life Agony! <laughs> <laughs> that was Billy, everyone. <laughs> Go buy his record, it's out, Billy Bio. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was so many great moments on that run that we just got off that we want to do it again and again. <laughs> we want to, every tour, uh, we want to keep it going. Yeah, every tour possibility that comes up, we're like, yeah, can we bring Billy? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Could we? Could we? Could we? Could we? And pretty soon we're going to have to be like, could we open for Billy? We're going to call Billy to camp and be like, do you think you can have an LOA open for Billy soon? Billy's just going to join the band, I think. I think that's what's really going to happen. That, that, Second really guitar player. Well, actually, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be awesome. awesome. <laughs> Say hello. The camera's kind of low, so you guys stick oh, your face in. Oh, the TV. I thought it was radio. No. <laughs> <laughs> Am I TV? <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> now, uh, if people want to find you online, look you up, how do they do that? Easily. Lifeofagony.com. Really simple. Boom. And if you want to go to the Facebook pages, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, all that stuff. Super easy YouTube, to find. Twitter, all, 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 all of them. All of them. Yeah. Cool. All the above. Thank you very much, Mike. Oh, it was good talking with you. Look them up. Hell yeah. LOA.